For footballers, there's a lot to do to achieve their goals and score goals. While training and exercises are important, their diet is more important as input determines the output. Therefore, most footballers follow a particular diet plan to benefit their health. But as much as these diets are healthy, some of them are strange. From Cristiano Ronaldo to Erling Holland, these are famous footballers' strange diets. Cristiano Ronaldo Undoubtedly, Ronaldo is one of the most accomplished athletes on the planet, and at the age of 37, he still plays like he's in his 20s. This makes you wonder what his secrets are. Well, what we know is Ronaldo sleeps a lot and eats a lot. Now before you go ahead and eat everything you see, here's what Ronaldo eats. Ronaldo eats up to 6 meals and takes 5 naps. He starts his day with ham and cheese and a side of yogurt for breakfast. When he gets hungry a little later in the day, he likes to snack on avocado toast. And, for the rest of the day, he eats two lunches and two dinners. Strange, right? Well, we're just getting started. His first lunch of chicken and salad is often followed by fish of some variety, perhaps tuna accompanied by salad, eggs, and olives. And in the evening, he'll either stick with varieties of fish like swordfish, tuna or braised cod, or switch to some type of meat. Right now, you're wondering how he's able to stomach all of this when you throw up eating just half of it. Well, Ronaldo lives an extremely active lifestyle. He trains, swims, and exercises. Also, his protein-rich meals suit him perfectly. Ronaldo doesn't do alcohol, but he enjoys a glass of wine from time to time. And did I mention that he sneaks pieces of chocolate here and there? Lionel Messi. If you know about Messi when he was still a teenager, you'd see how much he's grown over time. Although Messi has always been a talented player, he was weak and fell sick most times, even on the pitch. He admitted in an interview that he was like that because he wasn't eating healthy foods. But now, things have changed. Just know that you could probably find his diet a bit strange. Messi worked with an Italian nutritionist named Giuliano Poser to help him keep on the right track with his diet. Now he incorporates a lot of olive oil, fresh fruits, and veggies, water, seeds, nuts, and whole grains into his meals. In fact, a good portion of his diet consists of raw foods. If you find that strange, then you don't know that it is a solid energy boost. Messi loved sugar, and so he was a friend of junk, but sugar just doesn't like muscles. Now that he's committed to staying healthy, he avoids artificial sweeteners, processed carbs, fried foods, and alcohol. Messi also decreased the amount of meat he consumes, and he enjoys up to three protein shakes. Also, Messi does a lot of roasted chicken with root vegetables. That's because lean protein like chicken is a stellar way to get your fill of amino acids that aid in sculpting muscle tissue. Neymar As for Neymar, he also takes his diet seriously. He drinks whey protein in the morning, before and after his workout, and then takes three fried eggs and spinach with slices of lean turkey for his breakfast. He has a mid-morning meal which consists of a glass of protein shake with a handful of sunflower seeds and almonds. Neymar's lunch is a tasty treat with turkey meatballs and asparagus-like green chutney. He also enjoys his meal with half a sweet potato. In the evening, he snacks on turkey with peanut butter and some sunflower seeds. And for dinner, Neymar takes white fish with chopped boiled cabbage. After dinner, dessert is his favorite, so he takes a smoothie made with fruit juice, carrot juice, and whey protein, along with almonds, blackberries, and half of an avocado thrown into it. The thought of Neymar's diet alone is overwhelming. But if you think that was strange, you should see this next footballer's diet. Bellerin Hector Bellerin was never a vegan until 2016 when he gained knowledge about veganism through Netflix documentaries. Bellerin ditched all animal products due to the effect on his physical health and toxicity. Bellerin switched to a vegan diet just for a trial but it turned out better results and has continued to consume the plant-based diet ever since. Bellerine believes that veganism has helped him to achieve his full potential really quickly. Even though his family eats meat and other athletes use food from animals, Bellerine only takes a diet based on plants, such as vegetables, grains, nuts, and fruits. He doesn't eat foods that come from animals, including dairy products and eggs. Would you blame him? According to him, the diet has helped with inflammation and recovery between games. He also stated that his health isn't the only reason he's vegan, but the first reason. Do you think you can cope with Bellerin's diet? Kylian Mbappe Mbappe is a young football star that catches the world by surprise. 
He's still young, and he's a long way to go, which is why he can't afford to joke with his diet now. He takes a high-protein diet, which mostly includes eggs, chicken, steaks, and protein shakes. But to fulfill his body's carbohydrate needs, he takes a huge amount of sugar-free porridge in his diet. Kylian Mbappe's breakfast consists of two boiled eggs with avocado or almond butter. He enjoys it with a cup of whole grain porridge mixed with apples for breakfast. After his breakfast, he likes to eat protein bars as a snack. His lunch constitutes grilled chicken or a tuna wrap. He also eats a bowl of salad along with his lunch, which is a recommended way to take dietary fiber for gut bacteria. After lunch, he consumes some snacks which include protein bars and shakes. He also likes to have apples and almonds in the afternoon and enjoys a simple dinner. For dinner, he eats seasoned fish or chicken at dinner and he complements his meat with a bowl of brown rice and veggies. After dinner, he takes an evening snack, which is a big glass of a protein shake. If you think that was strange, then you should watch the next one. Erling Holland. Holland is an exceptional player that scores insane goals, but what's really insane in his diet, which has helped him become one of the most lethal finishers in the world of football. Holland follows a strict eating plan, and I must say that it is a very strange diet. Holland eats around 6,000 calories a day to keep his body in good condition as he wants to break more records soon. What's really strange is he eats chunks of cow's heart and liver. Holland knows that most people don't eat that and they find it strange, but he sees it as a way of taking care of his body. Holland doesn't agree with those that think meat is bad for the health. He thinks only processed meat is bad while meat from local cows is good. But liver and heart are not all that he eats. He also eats plates of chicken and pasta cooked without salt or oil, and grub like swordfish, sea bass, and sea bream all cooked with fresh vegetables. He mainly drinks water and avoids sugary snacks and frozen food, opting to eat fresh produce only. Holland is strict with his diet because he's been watching Cristiano Ronaldo since he was a kid and wanted to be like him. He believes that if Ronaldo is over 30 years and still on the top of his game, it means he's doing the right thing. Therefore, Holland took it upon himself to follow in the footsteps of Ronaldo. However, eating this way doesn't mean Holland does not eat other things. When his busy schedule allows, Holland makes the trip to Brine to catch up with friends and family, and he can't help but drop by Yummy Time, a takeaway that dishes up his favorite meal, a kebab pizza. On top of that, Holland uses a complex water filtration system. He also makes sure that he gets some sunlight in his eyes when he wakes up in the morning. According to him, doing that helps his circadian rhythm which is an internal process in the body that regulates the sleeping and waking up pattern. And yes, one food that Holland does not miss before any match is his father's lasagna. Alfie Holland prepares his son lasagna every time before a home game, something many consider the secret to Holland's success. Even Pep Guardiola once made a swift joke about the meal saying, we can make an offer for Erling's father to cook for us. If this is the secret of Erling's goals, I will convince Khaldun to bring him here but I don't think there's just one secret. What do you think about these footballers' diets? Let us know in the comments section down below.